January 19th, 2021 is already flying by. But we're excited to be here with you, those that are in person today. Those of you that are logging in from home, we're really proud of you for being up and attentive you know, to what's happening in our There's school. no possible way that we could teach enough, talk about enough uh, of how much this uh, this individual has shaped our culture and our history uh, in the United States of America and the entire world. And so uh, we could dedicate the entire day and we, we definitely need to spend more than just one day a year thinking about his impact. Uh, but I want to read this quote today because we are in education. Our, our goal is to we grow stronger through learning. Is we think about how, how well do we know ourselves and how comfortable are, are we in the things that we do and don't know. This week in our Can Connect uh, discussions, we are going to be having some conversations about learning shame. And so you may be asking yourself, what is learning shame? Well, I can almost guarantee you that everybody in this building, whether you're an adult or a student, has felt this at some uh, time basketball this, this week. You see those basketball players in the building? Wish them luck uh, as they go off and uh, to the, away from Bloomfield and represent also Bloomfield Middle School. Introduced for the first time at Bloomfield Middle School. Um, uh, the, our new mascot, Blaze, number 96. That's the year that our school was uh, built here at this location. So he represents students that are part school. of our, our beta club. And with uh, Miss Averett, they have our Santa helpers. Want to just mention them over the, over the break. Uh, several of them worked on Christmas Day, as many of us are, are relaxing are and, and taking character. Easy. We talked about Martin Luther King Jr. described that's the purpose of education, is developing our character. We got a few examples of students who have lived that. Again, character call out is not being about being perfect all the time. None of us are that way. There's not a single adult in this building who's perfect all the time. It's about doing something that somebody recognizes, hey, you've done something pretty powerful. And so we have three students coming to you from the Google Meet that I believe are at home today that we want to celebrate. And I want to tell you all why. So y'all give a wave. We're glad to see you all uh, coming to us. First, we have the Energy Alexander Award is something that's done across Nelson County. All schools do this to recognize someone who's just adding a positive energy into our community, whether that's in our school, in a classroom. And today, we have an individual with us, um, Mr. Jason Heath. He is the owner of the Rick House and his dog. Um, is joining us as well. <laughs> Mr. Heath, we uh, we talked a little bit earlier today about the, the beta students on Christmas Day. They serve meals to families and first responders and you allowed them to do that at the Rick House. And I, I can't tell you, I, I know the fact that, that you are being selfless and using your place of business to serve your community is truly what energy is all about. On behalf of the beta uh, group here at our school and at our entire Bloomfield School, we thank you so much. And uh, we just want to recognize you with the Energy Award. We'll be bringing you a small gift. To take you you yes, sir. Well, thank you so much. Make sure you tell your family you want to go eat the Rick House uh, uh, soon. And we just thank you so much, Mr. Heath. Let's give him a round of applause and appreciate you bringing the energy with us.